as what people here like do in their day to day life and this whole kind of end of the you know, big old monolithic government shuttle space program and something new starting. My purpose is to get talk going, to get conversation going, to get people to <clears throat> question whether or not what I said has any chance. Dig, dig, dig. That's what I'd like people to do, is dig into this. I'd love to be, be proven absolutely wrong that there's no way that this could possibly happen. But I have, I have thought on this for over two years, and I can't find any, I can't defeat it, and I haven't found anybody else that says, well, this can't possibly happen because of this. I don't know what this is. So I, I'm just trying to get uh, the conversation going, get the, the gray cells working, you know, st stimulate. Um, the, uh, how, how much of this is, is based on what you think, you know, China could do versus what, you know, are there, are there white papers out of China? No. Is any, any sort of intelligence to indicate that this is the path that they're actually thinking no. of going down? No, there is absolutely nothing I've come across that, that has definitively said this is, China is going to the moon for ownership purposes. Mm -hmm. No, not at all. So you just see what they've done on Earth and are applying it into another sphere? I'm looking at the overall general behavior of the Chinese people, historically. I'm looking at what they are, are doing currently. I'm looking at the massive technological changes, um, the massive amounts of financial capability, how they're spreading themselves around the world and, and uh, influencing a lot of governments all over the world. And I just can't believe, and looking at their space program, you know, and, and uh, their space program is um, parallel to a lot of what the Russians and the Americans did. They're following the same thing. The, <clears throat> right now they are launching about maybe 18,000 pounds or, or so to uh, Leo, and um, the Russians and the Americans, their rockets were driven by the ability to launch nukes. That's what really put mm -hmm. scare into the Americans initially. <clears throat> well, uh, the Chinese next level may go to a 50,000 pound capability and then maybe to something as a super heavy. So they're working their way up. Mm -hmm. And right now, if you look at their arsenal that they have, their long March family, <clears throat> they do not, they're missing uh, the capability to deploy um, major, like MERS, maybe a, a quantity on one rocket anywhere on the planet. They, I don't think they have that capability. So logically you'd say, <clears throat> well, why are they just stopping with, with uh, doing one aircraft carrier? They're not going to. What, you know, and and uh, they've got the, the anti-aircraft carrier cruise missile, uh, stealth bomber fighter. Uh, the missile is a very big part of their entire arsenal of, of defense, whether it's offensive or defensive capability. Bigger is better. Mm -hmm. So they're going to migrate that up from a defense standpoint. It doesn't just tie to their space program, but their space program is going to feed off that the same way the Americans and the same way the Russians fed off of it. Same thing. Um, so where we had a lot of DOD dollars, uh, you know, separate on that kind of the mission, it fed our space, our space capabilities.